It was during the summer Jack Shadow cycled into town. Nobody really took notice of him back then. They just thought he was another tourist. He'd be seen going down one street and over another lane. But after a while, he became part of the town. He learned its history. He learned all about it. He learned who was who and where they were. Very soon, he'd be seen at the street corner, almost doing little conjuring tricks and being very polite to people and saying hello and they'd say hello back and he'd say how are you and after a while he became part of the town. Everybody knew him to see but nobody knew who he was. Then autumn came along and a lot of the tourists left and the town began to get its sleepy little self again. But Jack Shadow was still there. He was now talking to people, listening to them, getting to hear their dreams, their wants and their wishes. And very cleverly, he made up little promises to them. He promised them employment, education, glamour, and most of all, relevance. After a while, these promises were like little carrots on sticks that he would dangle in front of people and make them do what he wanted. But after a while, those carrots became hooks and were entrenched in the people's souls. And every so often, Jack Shadow would tug a little bit and the people would follow and do what he wanted. And soon he was on this committee, he was on that committee. He was everywhere, involved with everything. But still, nobody really knew what he was doing. And what he was doing was through all those hooks and carrots and sticks, he was gathering people's hope, dreams and wishes because he wanted their future. He would harvest this hope and then move on to another town and start all over again. He had his hooks in everybody. He was involved in every situation in the town and nobody could be free of him. And coming up to Halloween, that day came. Jack Shadow hopped up in his little bike and began to pedal. And if he did, all the hooks started pulling and he started pulling and tugging at those hooks and he ripped them out of people's souls and all their hopes and dreams began to flow out through the scar. He pedaled off into the darkness and he took their hopes, their dreams, their wishes and their future with him. All that was left of the townspeople was sadness, was anger, a lot of anger, but most of all, desperation. This desperation took over everybody. They had no ambition, they had no dream, and they had no will to move on to the future. It was only when the local storyteller, the Shanaki, I think Sean was his name, started telling the townspeople of another town that Jack Shadow had ripped apart and stolen its future. But he said what the people started doing was coming out of their houses, getting together, talking to each other, beginning to trust each other, and very quietly grow little bits of hope, grow little dreams. And so the townspeople came out. They started having a good time. They blocked all negativity, and they started nurturing hope in their future again. And as far as I know, that town is doing very well. But you do have to be careful of the Jack Shadows that promise you everything and deliver nothing in this world.